UN human rights investigator Marzuki Daruzman has called for concerted international pressure to bring about fundamental change in North Korea's human rights situation. Daruzman also says that cooperation with the regime would certainly facilitate the process. Our Hwang Sung Hee reports. UN Special Rapporteur on North Korean Human Rights Marzuki Daruzman says North Korea's release of three American detainees was one dramatic response to concerted international pressure on the regime and added more pressure will bring fundamental change in the North's rights situation. Pressure works and therefore uh, there must be no let up on this uh, because uh, there will be no changes without uh, the international community uh, concertedly ex exerting political pressure on uh, North Korea. North Korea and its allies, including Cuba, want to water down a draft UN resolution on the issue, especially the part that refers the North Korean leadership to the International Criminal Court. With the General Assembly due to vote on the resolution next month, the Rusman advised against any revision. Uh, any removal of the accountability clauses would affect a, a setback in efforts to pursue accountability. The UN envoy, the first to hold talks with North Korean officials in 10 years, outlined a two-track approach that involves working with the Hermit Kingdom. One track would be to vigorously pursue accountability. But then uh, experience in the past 10 years have shown that that is not enough. A, a second track to the accountability track would have to be uh, co cooperation with the regime in order to be able to uh, initiate uh, the beginnings of a long process to uh, improve the livelihood, the daily lives of uh, North Koreans. Do you believe that North Korea will cooperate if the case is taken to the International Criminal Court? If there is no uh, cooperation, then the international community will have to uh, figure out how the accountability process uh, will be enforced uh, in spite of, uh, of non-cooperation on the part of the North Koreans. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.